Hi everyone, today let's try to solve another problem on isometric projections. We have the question like this, a rectangular pyramid of base 40 into 25 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. Draw the isometric projections of the combination. So here we have a 30 mm height cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and above that we have a square pyramid of 40 into 25 mm sides. So now let's try to solve it using the software. We'll take the nile, a normal line. We'll draw the xy line, sorry, a uh, base line over here. And we'll take as our slab base is of 100 mm. So we'll draw a 100 mm square. Hundred minus one fifty, hundred and minus thirty. So once we have this, we'll do the remaining part also. We we'll locate the center. So once we locate the center, we'll trim the excess lines. These are actually not necessary. So we'll take the line again, and from this end points, we'll draw a line to the center of the sides. Similarly, as we did for the cone and all same method we are going to use it so we'll use the same method so once we have this we'll take the tangent arc and we'll change the line to visible and we'll draw the arc over here from that till here and from this point to to this point so once we have this particular arc so what i'm going to do is i'll just move this particular thing to bottom region okay so that i'll have a space to copy this particular thing so i'll move it here so i'll create a copy of it and i'll place it here okay so i'll delete this line and it is said that it is at a height of 30 mm so for our reference from here i will just draw a 30 mm line okay so once i have this 30 mm i'll again select this particular Isometric view, okay. And I'll use the move command and I'll select the end of this line and I'll try to place the same on to this line end. So now we have the bottom and the top portion of the cylindrical slab ready. Okay, now we'll complete the top portion using the tangent arc. So now we have the top portion being complete. We'll take the line, the visible line. Actually, I just want a So from here we'll draw a line that is a tangential line so as you can see a tangential line so we'll zoom that particular area and we'll delete the unnecessary lines that is this particular lines will we'll trim the lines which are not necessary onto this side also so once we have trimmed you can see it's actually clear now so if you want more clear we'll trim the we'll delete the internal inside lines so which we draw from our references okay so once we delete it we can clearly see how it is looking so we'll keep that center line and we'll delete it later so you can see over here how it is actually visible a cylindrical slab so now we have to draw a rectangular slab of we have a rectangular slab of 45 40 into 25 okay so for that i'll take the visible line so from here i'll just draw 40 40 mm line and special angle is 30 then it is 25 and 150 angle so 40 minus 150 25 and minus 30 so i have my base ready so i'll change the line to normal from here I'll draw the lines so let's make it sure whether our lines are properly joined because there are chances it might not join properly see here as I'm taking the line it's not sometimes it doesn't take so for that I just trim this particular line now I got the center now I'll change the line to center and we have a height of 50 mm so from here I'll specify the angle line as 50 I place it over here 
Okay, so once I place it here, so I'll change the line to visible. And from here, I'll just draw the line. And the inside line will be hidden. Uh, so I have to trim it. So I have the rectangular pyramid ready. So I'll trim the excess lines because there is those lines doesn't appear. So there is no necessity of that. So I have the center also. So once I have this particular pyramid ready, so I'll select it and I'll zoom out and I'll use the move command and I'll select the center of this line and I'll place it onto the center. So as you can see, I have placed the pyramid onto the center. Once if you delete the excess lines, you can clearly see how it actually looks. So even I'll delete this particular line also. So you can have a clear view how the pyramid looks like. So even if you want you can trim this line also. So that was kept for our reference. So if you want you can trim this particular area, these lines. Onto this side also you can trim it. So you can see it how actually it looks so we have to measure the angle over here that is 30 and on to this side also so once done make sure you select it and resize it scale it down that is you have to scale it to 0 0.816 and place it where you need so let's place it here so once done make sure you save the file and then close it